It's a little bit quiet. Morning everyone, my name is Kyla and welcome to my channel. The title of the video is going to be called Can We Be Honest? And I haven't filmed a YouTube video in a very, very long time or I haven't posted one because I feel like I haven't been honest. I feel like a lot of the times on YouTube we promote like this um, toxic positivity and aim for success and goal oriented um, videos and people make it seem easy to uh, delete their social medias or like live this lifestyle of just letting go of everything that you have now in order to pursue this life that you want and although it is great to take the take a leap of faith i feel as if you know um the steps aren't really recorded in a lot of videos i feel like we we tend to really jump around when it comes to things like that um and really just feel like or really um show ourselves as if we've completed all of our goals or um, have everything together and a lot of people who watch uh or consume media that promotes this um more often than not don't have their lives together and i was talking to a friend of mine um last night and um i told them one of my fears and <sighs> like and it's crazy how telling your fears can, to somebody can really uh, open your eyes to how common it is to think that um, you can't relate to anyone when everyone just feels that way and isn't saying anything about it. So what I've been doing recently with my life is trying to get better like, you know, everybody else would like to have in their life. Like, I don't think anyone would want to argue that they want a better life like or argue that they don't want a better life because you know i've been wanting to have one i've been wanting to you know thrive as a human being and you know make the perfect decisions or you know not make mistakes along the way and when i find myself making mistakes i beat myself up for them because i'm like well do does anybody else make these mistakes in life like I feel like I'm the only one that makes mistakes or has certain problems in my family life and my mental health life. But in reality, we all have problems that nobody's talking about it. Unless you don't have problems, then really kudos to you. That's amazing. And I'm really super happy for you. But it's more often than not that us humans experience problems and really just don't talk about them. So... Uh, title of the video can we be honest and let's be honest <laughs> in this video but one thing that i do suffer from is mental blockages um and social anxiety and um, feeling this sense of not belonging um and i say that because um, I don't have many friends. I feel like a lot of people don't have many friends nowadays. There's more often than not that people are in smaller groups is what I notice. Um, I'm not really that much on social media that like I'm not that prevalent on there and I'm not saying like that's a problem but a lot of people are and a lot of people strive to get off of it but it's like because of lack of better things to do, we feel as if we have to be sucked into these black mirrors. And I find it crazy because I came to the realization that what we participate in in our daily lives is straight witchery. Like, <laughs> um, black mirrors are used by witches and it's crazy that we spend most of our day, um, you know, looking at these black mirrors that witches use and these televisions that are black mirrors and these computers that are black mirrors. It's like active sorcery that's going on. All right, so this is not to shed a bad light on sor sorcery, magic, witchery, 
or any of that esoteric stuff that people practice. This is simply just a disclaimer saying that magic can be used for bad, quote unquote bad or quote unquote good. Um, its inherent uses have been screwed by whoever has provided us with these technologies because they're kind of just implanted in our world. They're kind of just here. We're kind of just born into these technologies that everybody use. And since more often than not, people are committing suicide, people are getting depressed, people are experiencing social media and um, phone addiction, it has to be for a reason. And it has to be for a reason that is more than just physical and mental. So that's where I get into this esoteric um, stuff for, um, this isn't to shed a bad light on anybody's practices, but it's just to shed some insight. And I say that because when I was a child um, and exploring my childhood, that's when the internet started becoming like good, you know, like the internet started having everything on it. YouTube at the time when I was a kid had everything on it type shit like um and TV had things on it that uh you know kids weren't naturally supposed to see and I'm exfoliating my lips now so but yeah I feel like um, the internet gradually affected my childhood and how I see the world and not how I see the world now, but how I have in the past and not in the best ways, you know, and honestly, it's been since a young age targeted towards us that this, this dwindling of social interaction um, because just putting two and two together, um, before COVID and just to talk about mental health during COVID for just a very brief moment, um, information just be coming to me like out of nowhere in my life. And, um, I was at work, one of my coworkers were in their classes, like their sociology class. And the teacher was talking about how the most kids in the United States killed themselves, like elementary school kids have killed themselves in the history of suicide rates ever. And in certain states, I will do more research, hopefully, but if I don't, um, you're, you're just gonna have to take my word for it and do research for yourself. But in certain states, the number of suicide rates have surpassed COVID deaths, you know? And I had the coronavirus, <laughs> And I wish I documented it because I had the coronavirus and I got over it in two days and I get the chills talking about it because it's like, um, you know, I'm a young person and factors like pre-existing conditions exist, but, you know, just giving you some sort of background of what I went through when I had COVID, all I did was drink mango juice that had garlic, ginger, honey, um, garlic ginger honey and uh is that it garlic ginger and honey and then i stayed hydrated and i ate pineapples and fruits and i was within two days within 48 to 60 to 76 hours however that math works you know i didn't have it <laughs> anymore and i didn't spread it to anyone in my family and seeing that elementary kids are killing themselves and nobody's talking about it is kind of insane just backtracking on honesty um it's like how much honesty is in the media nowadays how much honesty do we see um face to face when we when we look at people's social media profiles and think that they're doing better than us but in reality they have like you know they have their own shit going on that we'll never know about whether it be subconscious or conscious you know people have their own shit that they go through
wow i didn't even moisturize and it's been 10 minutes <laughs> get ready with me these are like so difficult for me to do because i just talk and talk sometimes but let's really get ready i need c serum on the way baby <laughs> but yeah more often than not you see these people you know acting like they just they just been had shit you know um or been got it or yeah you know, they didn't we don't we don't often see the process we often see the result and it creates this illusion that you know people are just naturally better than us um well that's not the case there is no better or worse and recently i've been wanting to work down the notion and connotations that i have within myself and just go through this sort of renewal and not necessarily ego death, but just the death of the old ego so that my new ego um, prospers and goes forth and do, does well in this um, world. Because I can sit here and I can talk about uh, hella shit that's going on in the world. Like, uh, hella shit that's going on in the world, question mark. I don't really be knowing. Like, I don't really be wanting to talk about that shit. Honestly, I just want to talk about <laughs> um, how honesty is the best policy and how more people should sh say, hey, like, in this process, I wasn't very okay. In this process, like, or starting off this process, I felt this sort of way about myself. And this is why I changed. This is how I changed. And this is how you can do it, too. We often just say, oh, we were born with it, you know, but. A lot of the times it ain't like that, you know? So let's be honest about mental health. Let's be honest about um, <laughs> how certain wishes don't come true for all of us. Let's be honest about the diverts and, you know, the pivots and the ebbs and flows in life instead of more focusing on just the flows because it does create this illusion and this self-disillusion. And this comparison, which is the thief, the thief of joy, that honestly wouldn't be there without these black mirrors. And it's like, maybe if we used, I feel like witchery can be used for good or bad. And if we spread more, you know, good, the world will be better. And um, since nowadays, uh, or at least nowadays, what I think is um, the main cause of people being so attached to their phone is this yearning for connection and this yearning for um, human interaction. And I don't think we've done enough research about um, the psychology of, you know, why we're so attached. Um, or the illusion that it creates because if our brain doesn't know the difference between dreams and reality state, how does our brain know the difference between um, the psychological state of watching somebody's YouTube or seeing somebody's social media? Because maybe in that case, the brain just honestly doesn't know how to fathom somebody else's life and just sees it as what they portray it through um the black mirror <laughs> let me stop being like super like <laughs> um esoteric when it comes to just saying phones and in <laughs> <and> technology <laughs> saying the black mirror but honestly silver or black mirror what's the difference you know um and speaking of the silver mirror more often than not i I feel like I experience dissolution of the self a lot. And I really just been noticing how much of an illusion this physical body is. Like every time I look into the mirror, I'm just like, wow, I'm really just like not real. And everything I know about reality is just so fake. And it's so freeing because it's like you can do whatever you want in this reality. Um, and with that being said, 
I feel like practicality really has to be t taught practicality and patience because it's like um I see a lot with the you know with the illusion of um what's it called sped up processes for lack of better words um with this illusion of like you know I had it I got it now I'm here type shit um we often like mistake that for i don't even know where i was going with that to be completely honest i forgot what i was saying i lost my train of thought um but with this illusion of like um i got it now i'm here people are just like oh, fuck like i have to life has to be sped up like by 20 i have to have this by 25 i have to have this like and time at the end of the day is just this large social construct i feel so boo boo woo woo when i say that shit but it's it's so real like time is just a rushing mechanism to make us feel like our lives are so linear when they're so intricate and some things that happen in our lives are so inexplainable that we can't put time on it because in certain times in our lives, we feel like time is slowed down or time is um, accelerated. Um, <laughs> and that's how, you know, life is. It just really depends on what's happening at the time and how you choose to live it. More often than not, society is pressuring us to, to be, um, get it while we're young type shit, you know? Like, oh, uh, by 18, 18 year old millionaire. Like, God. <laughs> okay, like, this is amazing. Like, show us, like, what you did to get there. Show us, like, what were the, the setbacks and the falls and the rises. And let's just not be selfish with our ways in life and just teach other people to go forth and do good if we went forth and did good, you know? And like I was saying with the attachment to our devices and technology comes from a yearning of uh, for connection in my personal opinion. Um, I feel like in that is a blessing and a curse. And we could find so much uh, serendipity in spreading our, you know, love and kindness and prosperity through uh the media and not just showing like this this ig baddie you know i'm it's great to show your beauty and it's great to show your wealth but it's also great to you know help people and, and showcase that through your creativity and vulnerability because i don't really see vulnerability that often on the media um and to be completely vulnerable, I go through my shit. I went through my shit. And amidst going through my shit, I was not able to compute. I, I felt as if I needed to be these personas when coming back to YouTube because people were like, where the videos at? And it's crazy. And I really appreciate the small people that watch my videos now because, like, the support is insane. Um, like I said, a lot in this life, or a lot of the times in this life, I felt so alone and just small things like helping your peers or being kind is like goes such a long way you know so let me take my hair out of these flexi rods <laughs> yeah i did them a little too tight today who knows i'm forever scarred by straightening my hair and i feel like this is probably the last time in a long time that anyone will see me with straight hair because back to vulnerability and honesty i fucking sat on my flat iron <laughs> And now I have some, some gnarly first degree burns on my inner thigh. Um, so maybe that's a sign from the, um, from the African gods that <laughs> I shall not blow out my hair and straighten. But, uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh. 
back to honesty. Uh, shit, man. I hope to come back here and talk about my story. I hope to come back on this, <laughs> on this um, platform and continue to share my honest stories about life because life is just another interpretation of a movie. Uh, <laughs> apparently, the brain doesn't know or feels. It's crazy. The, the mind is so powerful. Um, or how powerful the mind is because it like creates these illusions of of being like it literally puts itself in the shoes of others and has like positive atten intention but can lead to so many blockages um, because of the positive intention created by fear or anger or all those negative emotions but all it is is energy and all it is is fleeting and if we start to notice that negativity is fleeting i feel like we would have a way better relationship with showcasing it um and I, i've been trying to you know showcase my negativity and show that it's not all rainbows and lollipops <laughs> when it comes to life in general one side a little bit too curly okay this is what i'm dealing with <sighs> okay reinventing the self instead of knowing because it's like we always say i am i feel like this notion of i am is so odd because it's like you never really are it's like everything that you are f is fleeting <laughs> so it's like this identification um illusion delusion <laughs> type deal because whatever you are now is not gonna be whoever you are when you're five years from now ten years from now like two seconds from now even now <laughs> whoever you are is just an illusion and it's just so funny like life will be a lot funner or life is a lot funner when you realize that this shit is just an illusion of of uh, different facets of energy floating around through molecules and DNA. It's really weird. It's really amazing too. But all I want to promote is um, the trueness of the self and how, you know, maybe some, some of our relationships ain't the best. Some of our life circumstances aren't the most ideal. And that's completely fine. That's completely okay. Like, life isn't meant to be amazing all the time. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> life is not perfect. Nobody is. Actually, life is perfect. <laughs> but, the, but the idea of perfection has been skewed to no mistakes but thank you for getting ready with me let me go put on my clothes and let me be back for the outro and intro i wish i could do these those little like <laughs> let, me, let me see let me see <laughs> hopefully editing me got it but um Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully you found this video insightful. Hopefully you got some sort of um, insight from it. And hopefully you learned, if not anything from this video, that honesty with yourself is all that matters. I'm not saying like, go on social media and post your business. No, <laughs> that's not the point of this uh, video. All I wanna do is just promote that you know, feeling well should be normalized. Feeling unwell should be normalized. 
and being happy for others should be normalized as well like i feel like more often than not we get this envious inkling um to think that like other people are doing better <laughs> in life than us and it's like there is no better there is no worse it's all just a perception and know that this physical body is an illusion so <laughs> hopefully um you could be yourself with me and uh and i promote that and i hope that everyone who watches is wearing that um i feel like i've come a very long way when it comes to um discovering myself and dealing with <laughs> emotions like self-hatred and self-love and arrogance and confidence and fake confidence and um just every energy that there is because these physical bodies are just a, a vessel for those energies to be harvested no matter how those energies um come through in your life it's all what we do with those energies and what we choose to see them as learning experiences or downfalls you know preparation or punishment um it's all a perception of what we deem to be and hopefully your perception now grows to deeming your life to be um just an ebb and flow of energy um and destiny is yours and if you believe that what you have in your um, destiny's hindsight is good, then it will be. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my video, my talk, um, and thank you for getting ready with me. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in less than a month from now. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, see you later.